Hello students, welcome to CA Revision classes. I'm Apoorva, Assistant Professor, Department of Bachelor of Business Administration, Kelly Society's Degree College, Nalagari, Bangalore. In today's session, we will be solving a problem from your previous year paper, that is from the second chapter, where you can have a look at the problem. In a manufacturing company, the particulars of material M is as follows. All the order quantity is given as 400 units. Maximum consumption is 1000 units. Minimum consumption is 400 units. Normal consumption is 700 units. Reorder period, three to five weeks. And they've asked us to calculate the reorder level, minimum level, and the maximum level. So it is a very easy problem. It is asked in your section B for six marks. You have formula to calculate all these reorder level, minimum stock level, and maximum stock level. So firstly, starting off with the reorder level, you have a formula, and the formula is maximum consumption multiplied with maximum reorder period, you get your reorder level. So the maximum consumption given to us in the question is 1000 units. So 1000 into maximum reorder period. So the reorder period is three to five weeks. So the maximum reorder period is five weeks. So we're taking five. So 1000 into five is going to be 5000 units. Hence your the order level is 5,000 units. Next, moving on to the calculation of minimum stock level. So again, you have a formula to calculate minimum stock level. The formula is minimum stock level is equal to reorder level minus normal consumption into normal reorder period. So the reorder level we've already calculated and that is 5,000 units. So I take 5,000 minus normal consumption is given to us in the question, which is 700 and the normal reorder period is nothing but the average reorder period. So how do you calculate this average reorder period? Your minimum reorder period plus your maximum reorder period divided by two, you will get your average reorder period. So your minimum reorder period is three, maximum is five. Three plus five divided by two, you get four. So four will be the average reorder period or the normal reorder period. So 700 into four is 2,800. 5,000 minus 2,800 will give us 2,200 units. Lastly, they have asked us to calculate maximum stock level in the question and the formula to calculate maximum stock level is maximum level is equal to reorder level plus reorder quantity minus of maximum consumption into minimum reorder period so reorder level we've already calculated and that is 5000 Next, if we need to add our reorder quantity, which is given to us in the problem, which is 400. So after that, according to the formula, you have to subtract it from the product of your maximum consumption and minimum reorder period. Maximum consumption is 10,000 units, which is given to us in the problem, and the minimum reorder period is three weeks. So we're taking that as three. So when you simplify this, you're going to get 5,400 minus 3,000. So 5,000. Five thousand four hundred minus three thousand, which will be equal to 
three dark matrix one. Dark maximum stock level is two thousand six hundred units. That's all is the solution for this problem. Hope you all have understood. If you have any doubts, feel free to mention that in the comment section and we'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching. We will be coming up with many more such solutions for your previous year's problems.